all right hey guys welcome back to my channel uh, so today I'm gonna do a couple of bonus readings um, we're gonna start off first with Virgo I already have the foundation laid out um, to give the heart of the messages first but before we dive into it let me just say this is a general reading so this may not resonate with you if it does everything may not be for you in this reading it could be messages for someone else so take what does and leave the rest um, also energies are fluid and interchangeable so energies can cross and if you need to just please flip the energies that best resonate with you. So I, the overall energies that we have are out of the Psychic uh, Tarot for the Heart deck. Uh, the first one we have is the Heart Chakra, okay? The Heart Chakra popped out, and when I went to clarify, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Wands, and the Temperance, okay? This is just a bonus reading. I asked uh, for messages to pop out that need to be heard, or me messages that need to be, um, that need to come across the table here for you, so... Um, we have the heart chakra here with the will of fortune okay the will of fortune represents um uh, change okay um this could be like a change of finances change of fortune um a new cycle coming into play here and i feel like this could if it's not a relationship this could be a business and this could be something that you really have your heart and um soul into okay so I'm seeing that there's, there's some type of change that needs to be had here. Um, I am feeling the energy of the Five of Wands, okay? The Five of Wands is like conflict, uh, competition, things like that. So I am feeling that energy here as well. So you could be um, maybe competing with someone in, uh, I don't know, in your field of work, maybe competing for a position, uh, competing for, uh, I don't know, another business, towards another business, if you own a business, you have a lot of competition. It could be like in the food industry. You're competing with others. I'm seeing that as well. Um, maybe you're competing on like a, um, a seller site. Like maybe you sell off of Amazon and you're, you have competitors. You're competing with them. Um, there Or there could be a lot of conflict in your life that you're going through. And it's just something you, you know, there's a change that needs to be made here. Okay. With the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and what, what it's leading to, I'm seeing it, this fighting and conflict and competition here is causing a lot of um, negative attention, negative energy in your life, okay? And what they're saying is that you really need to find peace and you really need to find balance here with the temperance card, okay? Uh, this temperance card represents patience and like maybe having the patience to... Need, maybe it's telling you you need to have the patience before moving into that supervisor position, okay? Or um, moderation, like maybe you, um, you're you at the top, you're, you know, you have uh, had success, right? But you're feeling a little greed or something like that. And you need to realize that, you know, be, um, be, what is it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Be content with what you have, okay? Um, this could also be balance. Maybe you need to find balance in your life, okay? All of this negative energy that's happening, you need to find your inner peace and your balance and um, work on your heart chakra because I feel like you could be giving too much or not giving enough and you just really need to find a balance of that energy because... If you're giving, if you're over giving, then you're taking away from yourself. But if you're under giving, um, you're being stingy. Okay. Um, so the next card I pulled was Rebuild. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands in Reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles. And when I see Rebuild, the Queen of Wands is like a person that's very busy. So you could be again um, running a business in management. Um, starting out a business or something like that. You're a very busy person. You're very um, a very warm and cheerful person as well. But with the Ace of Wands in reverse here, this is telling me that whatever this energy is that's surrounding you, it's not something that is new, okay? This is something that um, you've been working on, okay? You've been working on and you've been growing and right now it may be at a standstill. 
And so this is why you're feeling this um, competition type of energy. This um, fight, you know, fight or flight energy here with the five of wands. Um, something's going on where maybe things aren't progressing the way that you're needing them to. Or it's, it's again, it's at a standstill and you're having to rebuild everything from scratch, okay? Um, but what it's saying is, it's okay to rebuild, okay? Especially with the times that we are going through right now with everything. Um, but it's going to allow you to be back in this Knight of Pentacles energy, okay? Okay, in this Knight of Pentacles energy, you know, that is the, the financial success and material security energy. That's that, you know, uh, big bank account, uh, money saved, um, watching your stocks grow, things like that. Um, but I want to do some clarifiers here. Let's get a little more information on this. Um, see what the advice is for this. What's going on with the heart chakra? Tell me more about the heart chakra for my Virgo. As I hate shuffling on camera, but I'm going to do it today. Um, tell me more about the energy for Virgo here. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. You're definitely working on finances here. Your heart is in it. So you really, I feel that you really, really enjoy what you do. Whatever the work is, it could be your own business, your management, you managing another company, um, or whatever it is. The success that you're in, you're really enjoying it, okay? You're really fighting for this Ten of Pentacles. So that could be why that Five of Wands is here. But again, the energy that I'm getting is you need to find balance, okay? Because if you're overworking yourself, you're... Um, fighting all the time or like competing all the time you're going to lose the um the love and enjoyment of what you do okay and so that's why they're they're telling you to just find balance here okay ten of pentacles you know you really enjoy it the success is there you're going to be successful but um have fun and enjoy it while you're doing it don't overwork yourself and don't always think that you have to compete all the time you know actually enjoy it it you're going to be successful your heart is in it your heart is in it but um the change is to in, just enjoy the small things the small goals that you're hitting um the small you know how uh, you're saying you know how like a lot of restaurants they save their first dollar right they save their first dollar in a picture frame okay enjoy those small things it's okay to enjoy those and not feeling like you have to compete all the time. You know, if you're one of those great cooks and you know that you created that one dish and you're the only one um, who knows how to cook it the way that you started it out, people are always going to come back because you are the originator. Okay, you are the creator for that dish. And they know, hey, no, that dish is delicious. You have to go to that spot, yada, yada, yada's restaurant because they are the one who do it. Or you have a YouTube channel and you... Um, and do tarot reading, okay, do tarot reading, right, um, people love you because of the information that you give, you know, yes, there's a lot of tarot readers online, there's a lot of tarot readers on YouTube, however, there are certain people that enjoy your messages and the way that you give your messages to them, okay, the way that they interpret them, that's why they subscribe to your channel, so keep doing you, there's no need to feel like you need to compete, you know, yes, it's it's like a competition out here, but you don't have to compete. If you love and enjoy what you, what you do, it will shine enough for you. You know what I'm saying? You will attract the people that you need to attract with just enjoying each video that you make, each moment that you're enjoying, you know, each read that you get to give. Um, regardless, you're going to be successful, Ten of Pentacles. You're going to have that success, but you need to make sure that you're enjoying it and not overworking um not overworking or over competing because you're going to lose the the love and the enjoyment of that okay let's clarify reveal what information do you have for reveal clarify reveal here what advice do you have for reveal for virgo what is the advice that you have for reveal for virgo what is the advice that you have for all right so the card that popped out is the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So again, I, I see this as being something that you're having to rebuild. You're having to start back up. You're having to start from the beginning again, okay? 
Um, you may be feeling like with the Ace of Wands, with it in reverse, that things aren't pushing and going the way they're, that you're wanting to. And you're wanting to make your money grow again or you're wanting your coins to grow. The Knight of Pentacles, they're telling you, eventual positive outcomes are here, okay? You're a very reliable person, all right? It may not be coming in as quick as you're wanting it to because the Knight of Pentacles, like, um, they're ready to go to war. They're ready to fight, right? They're ready to fight for what they believe in, for their success. But um, they kind of strategize, right? They're a very reliable person. So they kind of strategize before rushing into it, okay? And I feel like that is what they're wanting you to know. Keep um, thinking it out. You think it out before you take the action, right? You plan it out before you uh, make the action happen, okay? It may, the, the success may not come as quick as you want it to, but it's bound to come. There's, there's uh, positive outcomes there. There's eventually the positive outcome will come. It just may not come when you want it to, okay? Um, so let's see, what else advice can we give for Virgo here? Let's pull a couple more cards out of here. Again, guys, this is just a bonus reading. These are the messages that um, are coming out. Whatever is coming out is coming out. I asked um, just for the messages that needed to be heard for Virgo. So take what resonates and leave the rest if you feel that it does not resonate with you. I feel like this is for some type of business situation here. Um, this could be as far as your money, your business, and um, whoa, things like that. Because we have a couple of pentacles here. So let's see. Any more advice that you have for Virgo here? Good. Any more advice that you have for Virgo? What is the advice that you have for Virgo? Wow. You're not going to believe this. Look, we'll talk out. Joy and stability. Yeah. Joy and stability represents, again, make sure you're enjoying what you're doing. Whatever it is that you're doing, whatever type of work you're doing, Whatever type of new um, business you're taking on, make sure you're enjoying it, okay? Because when you enjoy what you do, you won't um, you won't give up so easily, okay? You won't be so focused on the outcome, right? Um, because again, the idea that you have is good. The new the work that you're putting in is great. It's going to bring you your ten of pentacles success. Um, but you have to enjoy what you're doing in order to have that stability here, okay? Let's see, what other messages do you have for Virgo for this reading? What are the other messages you have for Virgo for this reading here? What are the other messages you have for Virgo for this reading here? All right. So we have well-deserved reward and throat chakra. The well-deserved reward, okay. You're putting in the work. You're doing the work. You're making things happen. You're planning it out. You're making it happen, okay? Keep doing that. It's well-deserved, you know? You put in a lot, like these people, um, like when it comes to working out, all right? You can't uh, get the body you want without working out, right? You know, you go to the gym. You're putting in the work. You're putting in that hour and a half, those two hours at the gym, and then you come home, you eat right, you rest, you go to sleep, you sleep right, get your eight hours in, you wake up and do it the next day, okay? You're getting what you deserve because you're putting in the work. All right? You're putting in the work. If you don't put in the work and you're not going to the gym, you're not going to get the body that you want, right? So the well-deserved reward is on its way. Again, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. It may take time because, you know, working out takes time. You know, you're not going to work out tonight and get the body you desire tomorrow. It's going to take months years you know for you to get that body that you're wanting we also have the throat chakra okay the throat chakra could represent especially with the knight of pentacles here and this being a business deal make sure you're promoting your own self speaking it into existence okay speaking it into existence maybe you're so frustrated and so caught up that you're you're speaking negatively on yourself, okay? You could be saying, man, I'm never going to get there, man. I can't believe that I'm, here I am having to start all the way over. I can't believe that I'm having to do this all over again. I just went through this. 
Why can't this get off the ground, okay? You keep speaking negatively, negatively those negative energies are going to keep attracting to you. So make sure with your throat chakra, you're speaking positivity into your life. Okay, it's, 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 trust me, it's a difference when you speak positively and you're like, okay, today was a good day, tomorrow I'm going to push harder, and tomorrow will be a better day. Today was a great day. Today we did awesome on sales. Okay, you could, you might not even hit the goal that you were shooting for, but guess what? You were making more money than you did the day before. So keep speaking that positivity into your existence. Also, promote your own self, okay? Maybe you're having to do some type of promotions here. You know, you're having to rebuild, so maybe you have to get your, your name back out there. Get your, um, your new item back out there. Or uh, maybe, you know, maybe some people have forgotten about you. You, you never know, you know? Make sure you're, you're letting yourself be known, be heard. Do whatever it is that you need to do. But make sure you balance that throat chakra. If you're not using it, use it. If you're overusing it, hold it back, you know. Maybe again, if you're speaking those negative words, maybe you need to shut it, you know. Or if you're speaking down on somebody else or you're using that negativity here with the five of wands, you're using negative words and being very uh, negative, again, negative, and, and, and fighting and arguing, things like that, you know, you can't expect positivity with negativity. But, Virgo, I hope this helps you again. This is just a bonus reading, so I don't want to keep it going too long. I hope I'm not going too long. But if you enjoyed this, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, comment down below if you would like to share your story. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I post every day, and I will catch you on the next video.